Hello friend, in this particular uh, discussion I'm going to do a number on differential equation and this is order 3. This is order 3. So sort of the 3y dx cubed minus the 2y dx 2 minus 4dy dx plus 4 is 4y is equal to 0 whereby y of 0 is equal to 0 and the first derivative of y is equal to 1 the second derivative of uh, y is equal to 1 now this can also be written as y double prime minus i mean y triple prime minus y double prime minus y, 4 y single prime plus 4y is equal to 0 and using the d operator, it can also be the two the two minus d squared minus four d plus four cross brackets into y is equal to zero. So it means the characteristic equation m three it becomes if d is equal to m if d is equal to m. Then it means the characteristic equation becomes m cubed minus m squared minus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. So now this is a polynomial that needs to be solved by several available methods. And here I can see we can use factor method. So if I factorize out, for example, here m squared, it will be m squared into m minus 1 minus 4 into m minus 1 that means i can factorize out m minus 1 because it is common so that becomes m minus 1 into m squared minus 4 and it is equal to 0 therefore it means m is equal to 0 or m squared minus 4 is equal to 0 which gives me the fact that m is equal to 1 or m is equal to plus or minus 2 which means m1 is equal to 1 m2 is equal to 2 and m3 is equal to negative 2 the general equation uh, the general solution for this differential equation becomes y is equal to c1 exponential x plus c2 exponential 2x plus c3 exponential negative 2x so now, if we are sort of this, we need boundary equations. I mean, boundary conditions. Now, if we look at back at our question, uh, boundary conditions are given as y of 0 is equal to 0. So let us use condition 1. Condition 1. Case 1. Y of 0. So we are saying y of 0 is equal to 0 it means this is equal to c1 i put e exponential of 0 plus c2 uh, exponential of 2 0 plus c3 exponential of minus 2 0 so that means uh, c1 plus c2 plus c3 is equal to 0 that is my first equation I can call it A. Now I look at the second condition, which is telling me that uh, uh, the first derivative of 0, first derivative of y of 0, I mean with respect to x of 0, is equal to 1. So it means I have y equal to uh, c1, so I want to differentiate this particular uh, the, the, the first derivative of y with respect to x will therefore equal to c1 when I differentiate this with respect to x to be c1 uh, exponential of x plus if I differentiate this I will get 2 I write 2 here it becomes 2c2 then exponential over 2x plus uh, actually minus 2 uh, c3 exponential of negative 2x. So if I get y prime of 0, it means I'm going to substitute uh, the 0 value in this equation and it is equal to 1. So I substitute in here, it will become c1 
uh, e of 0 plus 2 c2 uh, c2 exponential of 2 0 plus it is actually minus uh, 2 c3 exponential of negative 2 0 so this means this is equal to 1 it means c1 plus 2 c2 minus 2 c3 is equal to 1 i can call this equation b condition number 3 uh, case case 3 this was case 2 case 3 says the second derivative of y with respect to x of 0 is also equal to 1 so it means i already have y single prime equal to c1 exponential of x plus 2 c2 exponential of 2x minus 2c3 exponential of minus 2x so i differentiate this one again it will be uh, the y the 2y the x2 will equal to because this is the y the x equal to that so the 2y the x2 is equal to uh, c1 exponential of x plus this is going to be 4c2 exponential of 2x minus uh, this is going to actually be plus 4 c3 exponential minus 2 so now this is y double prime equal to the 2y the x squared so y double prime of 0 is equal to 1 and is equal to c1 exponential of 0 plus 4c2 exponential of 2 into 0 plus 4c3 exponential of negative 2 0 so that means uh, if I substitute in properly, it becomes C1 plus 4C2 plus 4C3 is equal to 1 or so on. This is going to be my third equation. So from A, for example, from A, from A, it means C1 is equal to minus C1 plus C3. So if I call this equation D and I put D in B and C, uh, this gives, it gives, if I substitute it in, in B, it will give, uh, here it is minus, minus C1, minus C3, uh, then I take away, I add, it is plus now plus this is supposed to be c2 this is supposed to be c2 so plus 2 c2 minus 3 c3 uh, it is minus 2 c3 minus 2 c3 is equal to 1 yes so this is equal to 1. So I correct the right terms together. This becomes C2 minus. Minus. Uh, this is going to be minus 3. C3 is equal to 1. So it means C2 is equal to 1 plus 3. C3. Okay. So and this is equation E. So if I also again substitute um, in C, you can see, if I substitute C1 in C, uh, equation C becomes, becomes uh, with, with the equation C, and e uh, then that equation becomes a c1 whereby c1 is c2 okay let, let me just substitute in for example here it will become uh, i put in c1 it becomes minus c2 minus c3 plus 4 c2 
plus 4c3 is equal to 1. So if I solve this, it means this is a uh, correct like terms here, I correct like terms here, and this is going to be 3c2 plus 3c3 is equal to 1. Now, this means that uh, if I want C3, I'm going to bring this equation. So, put in, put in, put in equation E. So, it means 3C2 will be bracket plus 1, 3C3 plus 3C3. So, that I'm able to eliminate C2 automatically. So, it means this is 3 plus 9C3 plus 3, 3, C3 is equal to 1. So which means, which means, which means that um, total C3 is equal to 1 minus 3 and C3 is therefore equal to negative 2 out of total and this gives you negative 1 out of 6. What about uh, C, what about from equation E, equation E, it means C2, C2 therefore, C2 will be therefore equal to 1 plus 3C3, 3C3, but C3 is negative 1 out of 6. So C2 is equal to 1 minus a half, and this is equal to a half. What about to uh, C1, C1 is equal to therefore, is equal to therefore minus C3 plus C2. So I will get minus C3, I know it as minus 1 out of 6, then plus a half, which automatically gives me minus into this divided by that. This is out of 6 divided by that, I'll get minus 1 divided by this, I'll get plus 3. So this automatically gives me negative 2 out of 6, and C1 is equal to negative 1 out of 3. So my equation becomes y is equal to C1, which is minus a third, e x plus. Uh, my C3, my C2, which is a half, E to X, yes, then, then C3, which is minus 1 out of 6, exponential of negative 2. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next lecture.